Adapting ID hardware for immersion can be complex. Let's explore the differences between retrofitted immersion-ready and immersion-born servers. In retrofitted immersion-ready hardware, the liquid flow encounters obstacles, navigating through chassis housings and a bat plane. Additionally, the absence of side openings, originally intended for air, further impedes the free flow. Hypertech specifically engineered a chassis to help the flow of the liquid from bottom to top. With less obstruction, the liquid is more efficient dissipating the heat, resulting in cooler temperatures. Being critical to business continuity, the power supply is advantageously located at the bottom of the tank where the liquid temperature is the coolest, minimizing failure rate. Retrofitting hardware to make it immersion ready can be a complicated task. In contrast, immersion-born designs are inherently simple, user-friendly, and designed to be easier to service. Retrofitted immersion-ready servers can provide a CPU density of 192 per smart pod in a 48-unit rack, whereas immersion-born design servers can achieve a higher density of 288. Hypertech is a pioneer in manufacturing immersion-born design servers in the market, providing a sustainable path forward.